we're back again. Well, it's good to see you, my friends. Welcome. Come on in. So again, Dr. Larry Mittenall, your friendly neighborhood child and adolescent psychiatrist, and welcome back um, for a thought of the day. So today is going to be a little bit different. Um, the article that I'm going to be talking with you about in brief is from the Journal of the American Medical Association, Ophthalmology. Now you might say, why is a psychiatrist reading um, journals for another specialty, especially one that's, uh, that's focused on the eye. And it turns out, actually, um, there's some really cool things going on uh, in psychiatry and the field continues to expand. And so you probably already know we use words that cause, you know, brain changes um, that, that we can see and identify, especially with related therapy. And um, we have medications that we use, which also help assist some of the brain uh, chemistry as well. And it turns out the brain is also an electrical organ too. And so sometimes we use that to try to help people who might be struggling. And so there's some really cool stuff coming out, some really um, early studies too, I'm using light light to change some of the electrical transmissions going on in the brain uh, to help people who struggle. And so anyway, I'll leave that for another time. That's totally going to be another video, but I think you're going to like this one because this one is kind of interesting and a little bit more about um, pediatrics and hand sanitizer of all things. All right, friends. So in this recent article from JAMA Ophthalmology, um, it highlighted a few case reports of children with eye injuries related to hand sanitizer. I know. Um, so as I survey our world, it's clear that, you know, most stations, hand sanitizer stations that you see are higher than the heights of our children, right? I mean, certainly are ones that are probably younger than eight, um, such that, you know, a really vigorous pump could cause an eye injury. And so um, many hand sanitizers are installed um, and met to meet the criteria for kind of waist height for adults, which means perfect kids eye level, right? Um, so thankfully, um, in their case reports, there were no long-term effects of, uh, of to the cornea or to uh, some of the round surrounding um, parts of the eye orbit, but it was definitely a difficult experience, I'm sure, um, as they describe, and they had some pretty gnarly looking photos um, as well of, uh, of some of the temporary damage that the kids' eyes had sustained. So, um, so it recommended a few steps to reduce unintentional injuries for kids. And I thought maybe I'd share some of those with you because that could be helpful. Um, so one is, you know, just promoting a lot of hand washing with soap and water, even over the alcohol-based products, which are good and helpful and, and um, there's a reason that they're in abundance, but to also emphasize that, especially at home. Uh, and then of course, you know, teaching and training kids how to use hand sanitizer appropriately, um, having separate dispensers, maybe at shops and malls for, for small kids. Um, preferably at a lower height, um, so below face level for, for most of them. Um, and so if you own a business, you know, just consider child size options. Um, and then also um, maybe placing caution uh, signs next to sanitizer dispensers. That was one of the things mentioned in the articles. I'm not sure our young kids are going to read those things, but maybe if they stand out or have a cartoon image, uh, perhaps that could be helpful uh, too. I will have to say this. So one of the coolest hand sanitizer dispensers I, I've seen uh, was I was picking up piano books for a couple of the kids um, who've moved on and, and level. And so when I walked through the door, our local music shop, um, rather than having a, a hi-hat, you know what that is? So there are two cymbals um, that are together and there's a pedal you can press. Usually um, most drummers that are right-handed have it on the left-handed side. Um, and you, you press the, the pedal and it, and it brings the cymbals together. Well, um, they had taken off the cymbals and instead put a wood block at the top and there was a dispenser below it. So every time when someone walked in, they could step on the hi-hat pedal and it would dispense hand, hand sanitizer. I mean, is that not brilliant? Drumming does make the world a better place. And so um, I was really proud to see that. I thought that was really cool. A plus you guys. All right, guys, um, hopefully this has been helpful. If you're interested in the article, uh, look below for more details. It's a pretty short um, read and I thought uh, kind of helpful and certainly share it with your friends um, too for whom it might help. And as always, take good care, be well, and maybe make a little bit of music today. I know I will. <laughs>